So you were the first trans contract girl in history, right? To my knowledge, that's what we're gonna go with that. We're gonna. I think so. The truth. I know, like Vanity, I wasn't around, but someone said she was a contract star, but I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure. So. I don't, I just want to say that because I know that she, I don't know her career, but right? I know okay. that she's like messaged me and said like a few things before. Okay. But I know I was the first for sure for Evil Angel and okay. the only TS. I think there's only ever been two for Evil Angel. It was mm-hmm. me and then Katrina Jade. So one TS and one cis girl. Mm-hmm. So did you feel like a lot of pressure around that? Um, to be honest, not really. Only because I was working mostly with Aiden Starr. And mm-hmm. me and her just like became like she was like my mom, basically. Yeah, she's great. You know, so she was like my porn mom and I was so comfortable with her that she kind of like would film everything that like I would create almost. Mm-hmm. Like I'd be like, I want to do this, this, and that. And she would like make it happen and make it look beautiful. Mm-hmm. So I think it was just like magic when we worked together. Yeah. Having a great director, I think, like means a lot, like who you work with. Exactly. And I think we just like worked well. Like yeah. some directors are kind of like, okay, you're going to moan at 30 seconds. You're going to yeah. do this. Where I've yeah. been on those sets too, where it's just so like fake, you and know, like, where like she, like she filmed me before my contract. So she kind of already knew how I worked. Mm-hmm. So she'd basically be like, okay, we need to get this, this, and this. I'm not cutting. Just do your thing. And it was mm-hmm. basically most of the time it was just like a one take. Wow. It was very like, smooth yeah those are the best kinds yes and then sometimes i'd work with somebody and they like they would be calling cut and i'm like what are you doing like yeah i'm one take aubrey kate like that's my name you know like (laughs) we're getting it done i love that (laughs) yeah yeah i try and i really try not to micromanage the sex scenes because like that's the place you're the expert right this is what you do like this is your job like yeah i don't i guess just like certain ones like evil angel obviously ones like more hardcore Mm -hmm. or like transsensual they want to be more like sensual Mm -hmm. and like so i guess i get that kind of but when they tell you like you're doing this position and this and this and this is like you have too much thinking you know and then it's just like it doesn't come out organic it just sounds like robotic almost yeah and it breaks up the continuity but i get it too because sometimes you got to get those different camera angles you have to set up for that different camera angles you got to move the lights and everything and yeah yeah i guess it just depends what kind of scene you're filming yeah so you've been in the industry for over a decade now um and specifically as a trans performer what are some of the biggest changes you've seen in the industry and what are some of the changes that you'd still like to see happen Well, I have seen now that there are a few um, like modeling agencies that have trans Mm -hmm. women. So they represent that, which before there was Mm -hmm. none. Not only that, but like a lot of the mainstream agencies wouldn't even rep trans performers. Yeah, they wouldn't rep them. And then like also they wouldn't really let like their talent film with us. Yes. So it's kind of like, yeah, that's changed. I know I started like towards the end of my I wouldn't say the end of my career, but like when I started, stopped filming, I was filming with mostly just Spiegler girls, Mm -hmm. which was kind of like a big thing because before they weren't really filming with trans models either. Mm -hmm. Um, And I've been seeing a lot of trans girls on the cover. Emma Rose hosted the X biz. So that's like huge to finally see like one of us like Mm -hmm. uh, host something and I know she's been on the magazine too, AVN Magazine. She's mm-hmm. been on that a lot too. So it's kind of cool to like see that they're bringing on more trans women mm-hmm. and showcasing us in other places. Mm-hmm. 